Hello, my Pisces. So Pisces is going to be a quick love read for you guys this week. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also check your Jupiter, your North Node with signs in your 7th house, okay? It's not going to resonate with every single Pisces that watches. Take a resonates, leave the rest. Or take it how it resonates to you in your life, okay? In your situation. Personal readings in the description box. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. If you haven't already, Pisces. Greatly appreciated. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Happy 4th of July if you celebrate. All right. Make the effort, Pisces. <laughs> All right. Oh, deception. Scorpio got that as well. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, romantic feelings and release your ex, Pisces. Express your love comes out on the bottom. Okay, well, that is uh, the overall energy. Okay. So, Pisces, uh, some of you guys may be trying to get away from someone. Oh, I'm seeing the Empress, guys. <laughs> as I'm cutting the deck what flipped over though the queen of a pentacles so um Pisces I feel like some of you guys might be worried about your finance well not worried focused on your finance I'm seeing the six of wands for the second time on the bottom of the deck some of you guys might be getting a lot more attention Pisces some of y'all are getting a lot of attention um, or uh, Pisces, you're putting a lot of attention into your, like your surroundings, your home, your money, um, things like that. Lots of cars flipped over. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Five of Pentacles. We just saw this in the other pile of cards. The Page of Wands. Ooh. So you guys are going to hear from someone could be a Scorpio with his death card on the bottom. Ooh, yikes. Something you thought was over is not over, Pisces. I, I've been getting a lot lately. Pisces, I feel like you're doing uh, financially better than someone, and they don't want you to know that. Someone might be having a money issue that they aren't telling you about. Okay, lots of cars trying to flip over. There we go. All right. Mm, this is still too many. I will take the top one, though. The four of wands. Um, I'll take the queen of swords, too. And we're seeing the six of wands again, you guys. So I feel like um, Pisces. Ooh, somebody don't want to be released by you, child. You cut somebody off. Or you want to. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, you cut someone off. You may have thrown someone out the house too. Someone you may have lived with. Ooh. That may have put somebody in, in some type of financial situation. Uh Pisces too. If you live with this person and you toss them out. Um Yeah. They may be paying for it, paying for it financially. the same energy oh the tower see somebody's having money problems nine of pentacles on the bottom yeah or again somebody lost their home didn't i get this i got this for you guys before or was it scorpio someone pisces is 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 some type of uh financial problems yeah so this, this kind of sort of fell out face down, so, but I'm not going to take it, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyway. Yeah, something here, um, man, somebody's been going through it, and I feel like it's been financially. Pisces, for a lot of you, yeah, thank you, spirit. Ten of swords on the bottom. Once you ended it with this person, or you pulled your energy away from this person, they start, their life started crumbling. 
they like started falling apart. They may have, like I said, for some of them, they even lost their home. Like they lost uh, the place that they had and they ended up having to move in with, with someone. Uh, could be a sister or um, something along the lines of that. A mom. Yeah, Page of Cups. Uh, Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like Pisces. Um, hmm, I wonder if this is you with this uh, money stuff going on. Yep, I knew it. Two of Pentacles. I knew it. And the Hangman. Yeah, oh, somebody's not letting you go, Pisces. And that's y'all's energy. The moon on the bottom, Cancer energy. Well, Cancer, this could be either Cancer or Pisces. Depends on who you ask, okay? So I just say both. Um, I feel like Pisces, somebody's foundation was crumbled. Ever since, ever since you released someone, um, their life has been falling apart. Ever since you left this person's life, we saw that four swords earlier. Ever since you pulled your energy away from this person, their life has been tumbling. And for a lot of you, it's financially. It could be relationships too. They might not be able to maintain a connection. Um, every time they try to build something with a person, it crumbles. Um, every try, time they try to save money, some type of expense comes up. Uh, for some of you, they may have even been evicted from a home. Um, ciao. Yep, Nine of Cups. Mm-hmm. Nine of Wands. Mm-hmm. Page of Pentacles, yes. I feel like someone's having to like start over financially, in a sense. Um, this person wants to be with you, Pisces. Um, and I feel like they are going to um, try to like protect what's theirs. Like they feel like you're theirs, Pisces, uh, so to speak. Um, yeah, this, this person feels like Pisces, once you pulled your energy away, like all the all of their abundance went with it. Like <laughs> it's not funny, but <laughs> it's like Pisces, when when you walked away from this person or when you cut this person off, it's like all of their prosperity came came crumbling with it. Man, the temperance card. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. Now they want balance. They're having, they might be having a hard time balancing uh, Pisces without you around them. Could be a Sagittarius. Uh, you're getting ready to hear from them though. They're, you're getting ready. To, they're going to send you some type of DM. You know, I mean, child, if they phone is on. Because baby, listen. Uh, yep. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this, this person wants to extend... Um, some type of uh, love offer to you. They want to have this a new beginning with you, Pisces. Um, like I said, they see you as their prosperity. They saw you as they see you as this Queen of Pentacles energy. Like you just have it together. You know what I mean? You might be really smart. You might be smart as hell with this Queen of Swords here. Um, they can't get over on you. Man, <laughs> shoot! The heck! Wow, this is some. Mm, this is some damn opposite energy. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody that's very opposite of you. The hangman comes out again, guys. In the eight of wands, like this is literally this is night and day. Pisces and Sagittarius energy. This is like night and day, but they're both Jupiter cards. So I feel like Pisces, you are. Um, you might want to. Uh, take things slow but this person wants to move really fast um when they come back around because because of the dynamic that they're going through and this might with this sun uh not the sun 
the moon there's a reason why i said that though with this moon here um pisces i feel like this person might not even be consciously aware of it this is something that's probably subconscious that you are tied to this person's <laughs> prosperity in some way shape or form pisces your energy uh, they benefited from your energy and it even says on this card the time has come to clear your energy yes thank you spirit this person benefited from your energy and when you pulled it away shit their life went straight to shit this can also be they're seeing things from a different perspective and they're and they're coming towards you pisces But I feel like they want to do it right. They want to think things through. The Eight of Swords, yeah, they're in their head about it a little bit. Um, they want to think it through before they um, just come forward. But like I said, I'm getting a vibe of someone kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul at this point. Um, for some of them, they might be working on getting out of their financial situation with this Nine of Swords. But the Deception card is here with the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like for a lot of them, they may have been, when they were with you, they were lying about their finances. And this person really wasn't doing as well as they were saying. Um, or are saying now, take it how it resonates, Pisces, okay? However, you have them coming forward to make things right. And I feel like, I'm sorry for everything on the bottom, yeah. I feel like they um, are going to want to come out of this whatever rut uh you guys have been in um this person also feels like that that they're losing you or missing out on you um but again they're not really expressing that this person is is um very territorial over you but again they don't express that they don't show that they don't show that that possessive side to them um I'm in my head over you 24-7, of course. Please take me back. I'm telling you, Pisces. I am telling you. I want to see you right now. <laughs> that eight of wands, didn't I tell you? Uh, Pisces, this person's going to want to be quick, 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 quick. I want to see your ass right now. Whoa. I want you to have my baby? Ciao. I really like you, XO. See, I'm getting a kind of some aggression. I have trust issues. Mm -hmm. Now, that might be you, Pisces, especially what you've been through with this person. Nothing in my life is the same since you left. Didn't I tell y'all this? This person's life is crumbling before their eyes, child. <sighs> I don't want to be tied down right now. I want to explore. This could be your energy now. Pisces or this could be the energy they were on or they were in um, at one point they may have even told you this Pisces um, to get you to do something that they wanted to do could be an air sign a Gemini Libra Aquarius yeah you probably was dealing with a manipulator do you ever think of me all right Pisces that's y'all's reading if it resonates Hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys. I appreciate y'all so very much for watching. Peace out.